Hi boys and girls, it's Ms. Cherie here with you on another wonderful Sunday. How are you doing? Yeah, how was your week? Really? Okay, okay. My week has been really cool and amazing. Um, I've actually been thinking a whole lot about this idea of people. Do you realize there are so many people in this world? You ever think about how wherever you go, there tends to be just different type of people? You ever think about that? Yeah? Who are your favorite people? Like, who are the people that you're like, yes, 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 absolutely love? Who are your favorites? What are they like? Go ahead, tell me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I think about favorites, it's oftentimes people who like the things that I like or the people who are really nice to me or the people who I have things in common with. Maybe sometimes people who even look like me and we just share a lot in common and they're just so fun to be around. We're so nice to each other and we don't have a bunch of arguments. We just really just get along well and it's just so easy to love them. Those are some of the greatest people to be around, right? But have you ever thought about the people who don't fit in that type of category? What about the people who make you upset or the people who mistreat you or the people who don't like the same things you like or they don't even understand the same things that you understand and they just don't get it. Um, they, or they're good at different things than what you're good at. They might even really get on your nerves at sometimes or even be just not as cool as you think they could have been what about those people how do you how do you feel and how do you work with folks like that you ever think about that well connect hq is going to dive into this idea of different type of people and what god really wants us to do and how god wants us to think and even care about those people okay so let's listen very closely to what Connect HQ has to say about different people. Are you ready? This is a really great lesson. Dive in deep and we'll talk about it when we come back. All right, see you in a moment. I am acing this test. Oh, okay, next question. I make solid decisions and I stick to them. Do you agree or disagree with this statement? Well, I make decisions all day long, and I stick to them. Agree. Well, it's normal to change your mind. Maybe I disagree. No, agree. Disagree. Agree. Disagree. You know what? <laughs> this is silly. I stick to my decisions. Agree. Well... We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Okay, last question. I know what's going on around me at all times. Agree! <laughs> I am very aware of my surroundings. That is one strange question. <gasps> A postcard. When did that get there? <sighs> Dear Connect HQ, I'm having trouble getting along with another kid in my class. We disagree about everything. What should I do? Sign Tracy. That is a great question, Tracy. Sometimes we meet people and it feels like we might not have much in common, and that can lead to arguments. You know, this actually happened to me a few days ago. Here, why don't you take a look? Apples! Oranges! Apples! Oranges! <laughs> no, Jaden, it's apples. Not a chance, Riley! It's oranges all the way. Okay, what's going on? Riley from the Flex Group and I were having a conversation about nutrition. Yes, and I told Jaden that apples are a great fruit to eat for overall health. And I said that oranges are so much better because they contain more vitamins and minerals than apples do. Yes, but as I pointed out before, apples contain more fiber, which is great for digestion. Okay, but okay. Orange... No, I've heard the expression comparing apples to oranges before, but never actually the argument. Oranges! Apples! Okay, we can all agree that they're both good for you and that it's okay to disagree about which one's the best. 
Of course. I'm sorry, Riley. I am too. Great. I love Harmony. Now let's get back to work. No more disagreements. I like to be nice and comfortable when I'm working. Sitting up straight increases productivity and reduces back pain. Well, I don't have back pain. And if you sit up straight, you never will. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. I like to run and ride my bike because it gets my heart pumping and it makes me feel alive. Cardio is great, but for complete fitness, you need to add some sort of weight training. Well, maybe I'm not interested in complete fitness. How could anyone not be interested in complete fitness? You see, if you use the drop down menu, you'll be able to, you know, have to type less words. So save yourself some time. I prefer the typing. It gives my fingers a workout. Hmm. It's just taking you a while, so just try it out. No, it goes from smallest to biggest. Gravel, rocks, stones, boulders. Well, everyone knows rocks are bigger than stones. It's common sense. No, haven't you ever heard the expression an apple day keeps the doctor away? Well, there's more to food than just nutritional value. Oranges taste better. Okay, how did we get back on this apples and oranges thing? We haven't gotten any work done today because you've been arguing so much. I can't work, work with her. her. Let's just all take a step back and sit down and talk about all of it. No, no I'm, I'm leaving. leaving. How could somebody like cloudy days more than sunny days? It makes no sense. Whatever I think, she chooses the opposite. Even if the right answer would just fall from the sky, she'd... Uh... Hi, Maurice. Hey, Ry Riley. Surprised to see you down here. I'm just trying to get away from Jaden. Jaden's a good friend. Why are you trying to get away from her? We're just not getting along. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, you're welcome to stay down here. I just ask that you help me find my clamps. I have been looking everywhere for them. Sure, I can help. All right. I need junk food, now. Apples? Really? Jaden, are you okay? I don't know what it is, Kat. I just cannot be in the same room as Riley. We disagree on everything. I noticed that. How can someone be so wrong about so much? Now, just because you have differences with somebody doesn't mean they're wrong about everything. We have nothing in common. That's not true, and you know it. We both work here, but that's it. Mm, I think there's something else that you're forgetting about. Well, since both of us work here, it means that we both follow Jesus. So I guess that's a big thing we have in common. Right. And following Jesus makes both of you part of God's family. Anyone can follow Jesus and become a part of God's family. Anyone? That's a lot of different opinions and ways of doing things. But God's family is not too different to get along. We can focus on what we have in common and work through our differences with God's help. God's family is not too different to get along. I don't know, Kat. I don't think Riley and I will ever get along. Is this it? That is a monkey wrench. I'm looking for my clamps. Oh, I guess I don't know what clamps look like. Well, it's just a big clamp. That doesn't help. Wait, I have a video with a clamp in it. Here. Today in the shop, I will be joining together these two pieces of wood. As you can imagine, the first thing I'll need is some wood glue. Now the glue is great for getting the wood to stick together, but we want a really tight seal. We don't want this wood to ever break apart. We want it stuck together so tight that they become one piece of wood. And for that, I'll be using this. This is a clamp. The clamp holds the two pieces of wood together as the glue dries. It brings them together from being separate, in harmony. It makes them one happy family. Sometimes we focus on the things that make us different. That separates us. But the people of God's family need to focus on the things that bring us together. We want to live in harmony with each other. It says so in the Bible, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Say it with me like this. 1 Corinthians 1, 10. 
live in harmony with each other. Let there be no divisions in the church. When we follow Jesus, we are all part of one big church. We can choose to get along with each other so that God's church doesn't break apart. Just like a clamp will make sure that these pieces of wood don't break apart. So let's go out there and be clamps for God's church. I guess you think I should try to make up with Jaden. Hey, I'm just looking for my clamps. I just don't see how we have nothing in common. Well, you're both smart. I'll bet you can figure out a way to get along. I think I'll go look for the clamps in the skip vision room. Okay. Excuse me. Hey, Maurice. Oh, hey, Kat. Hey, I really need your help with something. I'm trying to find a way to bring Jaden and Riley back together, but I think I'll need your skills. Oh, happy to help. Whatever you need. Thank you so much. I don't know where Riley is, though. Uh, she just went to the Skit Vision Room. What's she doing there? Oh, she's looking for these. Wait, I have been looking for these for 30 minutes. Maurice, I don't see any clamps here. Are you sure they're on the desk? Hey, Kat. I have that tablet you asked for. Oh, it's you. Yes, I should get going. I'll go. What's happening? I, I, I don't know. Connect HQ. Hub lockdown initiated. Help! 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 Someone help! We're stuck in here. Shh. I think I hear someone on the other side. What's happening? What's going on? The, the door to the hub. It's locked down. We're trapped. Who's in there with you, Jaden? It's just me and Riley, alone! Help! Oh my, how did this happen? I will try to find help. That sounds funny. You're right. This may take a while. In the meantime, you two should see if you can patch things up. Cat, did you do this on purpose to bring us together? The door, it's so thick. It's hard to hear anything. I can hear you just fine. I'll go see if I can find Maurice. Maurice is right there with you, isn't he? No. <laughs> this is so productive. We have to try and get along. The sooner we do, the sooner we can get out of this room. So, what do we do? Play the video on the tablet. This is the story. Is alive. When we follow Jesus, we live the way the Bible says to. That pleases God. But what if other people who are following Jesus and living to please God make different choices? Who's wrong? Who's right? The people in New Testament Bible times wanted to know this too. When the Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the first Christians living in the city of Rome, he told them not to argue with each other about what they thought was right or wrong. For instance, the Roman Christians disagreed about what was right to eat. Some people wanted to follow the Old Testament rules about food to please God. But others believed that as long as you thank God for the food, it shouldn't matter. Paul told them to handle it this way. Don't let it bother you and stop trying to boss people around who don't agree with you. Paul said to let God be the one to speak to others about what pleases him and what doesn't. So, however we live, we should do it to honor God. We belong to Him, and we should try to do things His way, even if that seems different from how other people do. Hmm. We agree about the important things, don't we? We both follow Jesus. We love God. We love people. 
and we get to share God's love with others. And we both are part of God's family. And God's family is not too different to get along. Bring it in. We can learn to live in harmony. I knew you could do it. All you needed to do was let go of your anger, listen, and learn to respect each other. Oh, 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 <laughs> of course. You can let go now. Yes, I agree. This is way too long for a hug. <laughs> I'm never letting go. Cat, has anyone told you that you would make a really good clamp? Tracy, I am happy to report that Riley and I have been spending more time together and learning to live in harmony with each other. Speaking of harmony, that reminds me of the verse that Maurice taught us. Here, say it with me like this. 1 Corinthians 1, 10. Live in harmony with each other. Let there be no divisions in the church. When we choose to follow Jesus, we become a part of one big church, and we can choose to get along with each other so that God's church doesn't break apart. Even way back at the beginning of the church, there have been disagreements. People have seen things differently, but like Paul told the followers of Jesus living in Rome, it's okay if we disagree on the small things. We should continue to treat each other with love and kindness. Riley and I disagree on a lot of small things, but when we were arguing, those things didn't seem so small. But once we realized that we agree on the really important things, loving God and loving people, the smaller stuff didn't matter all that much anymore. Everyone is welcome to follow Jesus and become a part of God's big church. We're all different, but God's family is not too different to get along. And when others see how much we love God and love each other, they'll want to be a part of God's family too. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Here's the church. There's the steeple. Open the doors. See all the people. It's not a lot of people though. I am so glad that God's church is filled with so many people with different stories, opinions, talents, and ways of doing things. But we are all united by our love of God and of other people. We're a family, and there's always room for more in God's family. All you have to do is follow Jesus. To follow Jesus, all you have to remember are your A, B, Cs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice? If so, welcome to the family. Be sure to talk to a parent or leader you trust. Wow, wasn't that a great lesson? Yes! And that memory verse, did you memorize it? It's okay, I want you to keep practicing it and practicing it and then apply it in your week and tell somebody about it. That is how you continue to grow, 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 grow in God, all right? He's gonna be so happy when you do it. Yes, that's awesome. Now, Connect HQ has been talking a lot about different people. So let's think about that in this week. Let's think about how we are called to love people. We are called to care for people. As we are surrounded by people who are like us and people who are not like us, in both situations, we are supposed to love them. Isn't that great? Yes, and that is what God wants us to do. And that is how we live in harmony. That is how we really represent Christ. That is how we really make our Heavenly Father super happy, okay? Yeah, so even if you if you know someone who maybe mistreated you, you know someone who maybe doesn't like the same stuff you like, or you know someone who maybe is not as cool as you thought they were, or maybe even someone who argues with you all the time, do you know that we are to find peace with these individuals that we are still called to love them as we would want others to love us, to love them as Christ has loved us. 
Yes, and it's a beautiful thing when you do that. Yes, it is. And so I'm excited about you taking a step out there to love those who are different from ourselves, to love those who um, might not even love us back because every person is valuable. Every person has their own set of gifts. Every person is important to God. And so that is why it's important for us to love others. That is one of the most important things we could ever do in this whole entire world, in this whole life, is to love God and to love others. Yes. So you've actually heard us talk a lot about love, talk a lot about being the family of God and how we are called to do things when we're in God. But if you're hearing this and you're like, Miss Cherie, I don't know if I'm in the family of God or I want to be connected to God and in his family. And I have a special prayer for you. Okay, if you're like Miss Marie, yes, I want to be in the family of God, then come on, let's pray this prayer together. Okay, I'll say it first and then you repeat after me. It's the ABCs that you saw at the end of that video. Admitting, believing, and choosing. Okay, so let's pray together. Go ahead, close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, go ahead. Lord, I admit that I've done some things wrong. Please forgive me. Go ahead. And Lord, I forgive those who've done wrong things to me. Go ahead. Yes. Lord, I believe that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, that he died on the cross for me. And I believe in you, Lord. Lord, I choose to serve you, to seek you, to love you, dear God, for the rest of my days. Please welcome me and welcome me into your kingdom. And I pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Great job. If you said that prayer, you are part of the kingdom of God. We are family. Yes. And we're gonna love others together for the best that we can for the rest of our lives, okay? So you have a really great week and continue to do great things as we celebrate different people, differences, different gifts, and we value one another. All right, I love you. Have a great week. Bye.